Hey everybody, today I wanted to show that you could build things right next to an altar of transportation, leave the island, and those things would still keep going. Um, so this video is going to be a little longer than what it takes to explain, but I just kind of want to show you that I didn't do any cheats or didn't uh, just sit, come back to this island. Um, so I've got some water going back here. Uh, water is really slow if you're cooking on a cooking pot. I'm going to start some iron ingots here. I'm going to start a hundred of them because um, that's going to take a little bit of time. And I'm going to start some wheat. Not too long, but uh, just going to start some wheat so you can see that this works for pretty much anything. I'm going to transport uh, to a different island, a level 7 island. That was a level 3 island that I was on. Um, so the idea you know, that, that they tell us and what we've usually seen and what a lot of people t will tell you is that when you leave an island, your automation stop, your... Um, you know, your cooking, your anything like that stops. But what I've noticed, if you've got any of those things set up close to an altar of transportation and you travel one island away, that, uh, you know, whatever you had going, whatever you had foraging or whatever you had crafting is still going on on that other island as long as it's close to the altar of transportation. Um, you know, I don't know if this is like it's a memory saving uh, thing that the game does that, you know, when you transfer to one island, it kind of saves what was happening close to the altar of transportation so that when you come back, it's there. Um, I've also seen this happen with other really weird bugs where I've had uh, merchants that I've set up close to, like I've had a merchant farm set up close to my altar of transportation. I accidentally killed a merchant, left, and when I came back, the merchant would spawn in and then immediately die and keep dropping the same object. And I could keep doing that over and over as long as I didn't hop to two more islands. As long as I hopped between the islands, it would actually uh, respawn that. So I think it's it's some type of memory saving issue that they they you know got programmed in. Um, you know, so let's let's see. Uh, I just built beat this messenger. I just wanted to kind of show you that I could go um, to another island and maybe use this to your advantage. Um, so you could have a base and set up some things crafting right next to the altar of transportation. Leave your base and go to another island to farm bosses, and then come back and then collect your resources. And that way, you don't have to have everything going on one island. You could actually effectively use two islands um, as a base as long as one of the islands had things set up very close to the altar of transportation. I had this nothing to lose cow bothering me so just let him die. Alright so now I'm going to transport back and the idea is that whatever I had crafting there should either be close to being done or should be really done you know be done you know, because it should have kept going as I was uh, gone from that island. So as everything spawns in here, we'll go over and you'll see the wheat's done, the water's done. Looks like the uh, ingots are about 60% of the way done. So it did indeed keep producing, even though I left the island, went and farmed a boss. I was well away from the altar of transportation. Um, so this strategy does work. So I would say use this i am on xbox i i don't know i haven't tried this out on pc if you're on pc give it a try see if it works and let me know in the comments um but this is a, a viable strategy it, it doesn't even really have to be this close i think it could be a several blocks away and still work but you know if you just want to set up kind of a secondary base and have things running and not affect your performance this might be a way to go all right, well, that's all I've got for today. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this idea. Let me know if you've experimented with this and what your results down in the comments. Or if you have any ideas for things you want me to check out or try out, let me know in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed this, please consider giving us a like. If you like what we're doing here on the channel, please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. And as always, thanks for watching.